Okay, so we're going to go over here and water my plants. I've started gathering up my summer clothes that I'm going to pack away for the winter. I just have them out here on, the, on these clean rugs for now because I cannot remove my tubs yet from the closet. Those are the, the two tubs. Well, one tub will hold the winter clothes, and then the other tub just has miscellaneous stuff in it. So as soon as I'm able to remove those, I will get my summer clothes packed away and my winter clothes pulled out. I've got the rest of my plums and peaches in the window ripening. Look how good my plants are doing. I will show y'all the fertilizer that I use on them. I use very little. I just put a couple of pinches and um, about a 32-ounce bottle of water and shake it up really good and just use a little bit of that fertilizer. I just hate the way that my peace lily turns brown on the ends. Um, I try not to fertilize them in the winter, although I get tempted to because I just want to see them grow and be beautiful and green, but you know, they have to lie dormant in the winter. So I just water them until I see a little bit of water coming through the onto the bottom tray. These are doing very well. Looks like I might need to trim a couple of the brown edges off. I just love plants, y'all. When I was young and married to John, it was before Jeremy was born, so Jason was just a couple of years old. We had moved in this into this apartment there in the Gentilly section of New Orleans. I was working for Equitable Shipyards there on the Industrial Canal. I worked in, I was a secretary, and I just loved plants, and so we moved into this brand new apartment. It was called Le Duchene. You see, I don't, I'm sure the apartment is still there, but they've probably changed the names. But it was these two guys that had built these apartments and they were renting them out and John and I rented the, it was a, a two story. Um, so John and I rented the apartment on the bottom level and they had a little patio in the back with a wooden fence around it. So I bought all these little, you know, the little tiny clay pots. I guess they're for seedlings, you know, just to start plants in. So I planted all of these different little seedlings and starter plants into those little tiny pots and set them on the railing of the, well, not realizing it being so hot in New Orleans, I had to water those plants every single day. They worked me to death. I finally smarted up and repotted them and just kept a few of them. Boy, that water came through real quick. Oh, I hope it doesn't... Well, if it does flow over, I've got a plastic saucer there on the bottom. And that one has come all the way through, and so has this one. Okay, so we'll go over here to my bigger ones. Isn't it beautiful? Even with the... I did download a, an app that it kept... Actually, it was um, advertising on my channel. Some kind of plant solution app. You take a picture of your plant and submit it, and then they're supposed to let you know what's wrong with it. I guess, and how to fix it. But like I said, I just downloaded the app the other day. I haven't used it yet. And these are the flowers that Issa bought me whenever they have um, Mother's Day, little Mother's Day boutique that the children take money and they can shop and buy something for their mother and grandmas. I have a package here from my subscriber, Bonnie. In fact, she's the one that sent me the fertilizer. Let me go get that before I forget. But I'm gonna open the package today and film it, but I won't post that video until probably tomorrow. But it's called Roberta's Bounty All-Purpose Plant Food. And um, it's for indoor or outdoor plants. It's, um, 
153015 with essential micronutrients. If I can find a link for it, I will put it in the description below. It's made in Allentown, Pennsylvania. See, if your plant is dormant, do not feed. Okay. Okay. I probably should follow the instructions and mix it up the way that they say to. But anyway, y'all, that apartment, the way the, the guys had built it, it had wooden slack, slats. The ceiling was made out of wooden slats. But there was nothing covering the wooden slats upstairs. So every time the, the people who lived upstairs walked, all of the dust and dirt fell through the holes in the slats, fell through the gaps in the slats, and came down into our living room. Our furniture and everything was just covered in dirt and dust all the time. And the guys didn't do anything to fix it. So after our lease was up, we moved, moved out of there. Either that or John got fired and we had to move. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> probably the, the second one is what happened. John probably got fired or something. Y'all know, y'all know the story of that. Okay, so the water is coming through there. Y'all, I can't remember the name of this. You'll have to tell me. Let's see if this one is watered enough. How do y'all determine if your plant has received a sufficient amount of water? I think that's enough. So anyway, that's going to be my video for watering my plants today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and share, and y'all please just keep on coming back.